Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number two of the MPL, and this is going to be a super interesting match. We are up against Sebi VGC and his Montreal Monfernos. Now, uh, we faced him before in the MPL Minors, and he thoroughly beat us. Uh, that was a match that I was very unprepared for, but uh, he definitely took advantage of us and beat us, and... Uh, he actually went completely undefeated through the entire season and the entire postseason. He ended up being the champion of that league uh, with a completely undefeated record. And he comes in, gets promoted to the MPL Majors, uh, as were we, and gets a 6-0 in Week 1 against another MPL Miners coach uh, with Johnny GB there. So he's coming in here with zero losses on his uh, MPL career and flawless in MPL majors so this is going to be a super rough matchup he has a whole lot of threats you can just see from uh the team preview uh that's not being completely covered up but he has a mega kangaskhan he has the landers feeny ferrothorn so many huge huge thick fat um threats that i have to be concerned about but i'm just going to get straight into this match um i really struggled in my team building to come up with a way that can handle everything that he has i think i have a team that can deal with his team okay but it's difficult to feel great about this type of matchup especially when you just see how well he did i, b I believe with a dual dance lando go watch um his channel to really find out what uh he wanted he did there to get his 6-0 but i ended up leading off with my uh, primarina just to try to get some early offensive pressure on Part of me did expect maybe a lander's lead. I, I wanted to kind of scare it out, but I, I switched out immediately because I didn't want this thing taking too much damage. I want this to be around for um, the grander scope of the match. And also, I did kind of expect this fear thrower to come in. And I did kind of pull an aggressive switch into my melting tank because my melting tank did have the fire punch for exactly this type of situation. I, I didn't exactly expect this to want to switch in on my Primarina, but uh, this is the, type, the exact type of situation where he thinks he's safe to just set up rocks, and he probably would have done the same thing anyway. But uh, this was the type of situation that I wanted to be in, just steal some big early damage, and even if he doesn't stay in and take another Fire Punch, we have this thing chunked down for the later game, which is why I switched out. I expected him to want to switch out in this situation to try to uh, preserve this thing for the later match and not take a second Fire Punch, and he does switch out. Um, it does allow me to go into my Latios here, so, uh, that's relatively free, but I had no idea what he wanted to go into. I felt like Latios was my most, uh, like, catch-all kind of, um, threat where I can Mega Evolve and deal some major damage. This time, I did bring a much more standard, um, especially offensive, you know, Dragon, uh, Draco Meteor, um, Mega Latios. But here, we both get a chance to Mega Evolve, and I do know that the Sucker Punch is a, is a possibility here, but... At this point, uh, I'm thinking the same thing. Getting a big chunk of damage off early in this match, I think, is going to be pretty important, as well as the fact that um, the the Misty Terrain is on the, is on the field, so Draco Meteor is not going to be the best of options in this situation, but uh, I just get to see how much damage that did, and I'm immediately not feeling great, so I switch out into my um, Scizor here, and... He, uh, he goes for the power punch. He's getting himself up for free, but this is a really physically defensive scissor So right here, I don't even know how much longer I'm gonna be able to, to like handle this this um, scissor and, and Especially with this thing having a wish up But I know that this is going to be one of my only real options to deal big dents into his team with um, superpower and I believe I also had um, Swords dance on this set as well. I'm um, not i don't 100 percent remember but i guess we'll see oh i just go for the surgeons now yeah at this point um he's only a plus two i believe at this point and i felt safe enough where i could go for a sword dance but um in my head i guess if i thought that out more um i would have realized that he had the very obvious switch in the volcarona but I, I felt i guess particularly bold because uh i really felt that uh he would not expect me to, to, to want to stay in and potentially take a hit from the volcarona so i felt like i had to be really bold to try to get some u-turn damage off um I, and it, and it wasn't one of the situations where like, well, I set up a sword stance, I have to use my my heightened attack. Um, I really did feel like uh, to switch out in this situation would be giving him like a very free um, attack off that wasn't entirely necessary. If I could um, U-turn here s s selectively, maybe I catch up on some crazy double switch or something like that. But it was more so because um, I wanted to hold my ground and I wanted to um, make a play in that situation. I end up going into my Noivern. It is uh, Specs Noivern. And, uh, you can see the Feeny just comes in and is able to eat that up. Uh, 
because he didn't raise his speed at all through, through through a cover dance, I felt really free being able to go into my Noivern and um and just going for these Specs Air Slashes. But uh, he pulls a double actually. Um, I I'm not too too sure why I decided to go back into my Scizor, but I guess maybe part of me thought that he would double switch into this. Oh, I guess. I guess in my head it would make sense if he knew that I was scarfed, or er, that he knew that I was specs and and uh, maybe could have gone into Fairy Thorn. I don't know, but regardless, I I, I bring in my Scizor, and here I honestly expect him to want to switch out again because uh, he knows that I am in a position where I could uh, Sword Dance up, and uh, I, I don't think he knows yet that I have superpower, but I do have the superpower, so he could um, try to be play, he could try to play off me there. So I think that's why I made kind of an unnecessary by play by you turning there i probably should have stayed in uh to try to deal a little bit more damage but um as soon as i clicked u-turn and i switched out i kind of did feel like um whatever i brought in would kind of let him super uh, not super uh, power a punch for free and i really didn't want to and i really wanted to prevent that as much as possible i get off a pretty feeble earthquake there really wasn't any use in doing that in the situation because his wish was still active but um, I wanted to gauge damage a little bit, and I wanted to see if, if this thing was more specially defensive, if this thing was more physically defensive, and, you know, ideally, I was kind of hoping that uh, Earthquake would be strong enough on its own, where it could pull him down low enough, where it kind of counteracts the wish a little bit, but this honestly just lets him wish back up again, and uh, at this point, I just take the opportunity to Sword Stance, not Sword Stance, to uh, Stealth Rock up for free, as he does um, set up Power Punches, and I'm kind of digging myself into a hole, but um, at this point, I'm, I'm thinking my best option here is to stay in here, try to keep this thing, uh, force this thing to, to, to take me out, and ideally, you know, set up rocks, spin them away on my side, kind of play that game a little bit, and ideally, um, put him in a position where he has to take me out, and hopefully get a free switch in, hopefully put this thing in a position where um he has to switch out or, or he has to take me out and be somewhat weakened by this exchange but ultimately um when he starts power punching more and more i start thinking thinking to myself it's not gonna work out so i end up switching out i assume on him trying to get to plus six i assumed that he was gonna try to get to plus six but i think he realized that he didn't have to get to plus six in that moment so he just goes for the for the return to, and uh pretty, just straight oko is my my latios there and uh I feel like this is a moment where I'm safe enough to go into my Scizor, and I do just end up playing the superpower. Uh, this is definitely a situation where I wanted to gauge damage, see uh, what kind of opportunities I had for for the rest of this match. But uh, all I end up doing is lowering my my attack and defense, and uh, it whatever progress I make here is going to be counteracted by the by the wish. So I'm not in a great position here either, I guess. My play should have always been to set up a sword stance and attempt to take a to take a uh, a plus four return on the next turn and then attempt to get a superpower off. But now I'm in a position where my two biggest threats I shouldn't say my two biggest threats, but my but two um very necessary threats for things like the Ferrothorn and um Landorus and things like that uh, are kind of down at this point and. This thing's a plus four, this thing is in a position to tear through my team, and at this point my best option is to just kind of play around here and um, get some damage off, Take this, try to take this thing out by committee, so I give up my pre-marina here, I knew that I was giving up my pre-marina, but I give it up for, uh, what is that, about like 40%, 35-ish percent on this Kangaskhan, so now I bring out my Noivern and I try to spec Draco into this thing. Now. Uh, according to all my counts, I, it looked to me like Spex Draco was barely doing it. It was it was around the 60% mark, and as soon as he pops a protect and I Draco into it, I, I kind of assumed that he would think that he was going to be safe enough that uh, he would be able to go into the Feeny in this situation, which um, could have put me in a really bad position. I assumed that he knew that I was Spex at that point. Um, in retrospect, maybe he didn't yet know. I don't quite know. He's, he's a really smart guy, he knows what he's doing, so maybe he knew, maybe, maybe he didn't, I don't know. But regardless, um, maybe at that point it just didn't even matter to him whether or not I took out the Kangaskhan, because if I had gotten, if I had gone for the uh, Spex Draco, uh, he would have gotten, um, he, and even if I got like a pretty favorable roll, I end up taking out the Kangaskhan, maybe it doesn't even matter to him because he's confident enough in, in, in his other threats in the back where he could have 
taken a 5-0 and been fine with it, but in my head, I thought that he would want to preserve the 6-0, he would take the really easy switch into that Feeny, and now at this point, like, the rest of this match doesn't even really matter because, uh, it's just him racking up KOs because I really don't have any, any firepower left here to take on this Kangaskhan. I can't Oko with Kangaskhan, and the Kangaskhan's always going to be able to wish up and, uh, put me in a bad position regardless, so... That's going to be how it goes. In my first week, I got a 6KO sweep with my Mega Latios, and now uh, his Kangaskhan cops that 6KO sweep. So yeah, either he completely just didn't care about the 6-0 and was just staying in to take the Draco and possibly go down in that situation, or um, he didn't know that I was Specs at that point. Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask him about that. I I, I don't know at the time that um, I'm talking about this right now, but whatever happened, he got the 6-0 on me. It was a super well-played game. I, again, just didn't have enough firepower for that Mega Kangaskhan. Um, I thought that I was going to be able to take it out better than I than I was able to, but that's going to be week two. We're going to bounce back for sure. I'm pretty confident in my next week and um, for sure the weeks to come. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the MPL as well as a couple other things that are really in the works right now and will be announced super duper soon. But once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be once again out.